what's good guys today's video you know what it is it's vlogmas but it'll be day like eight for vlogmas but it'll be day 125 for growing my red tail cat as you can see he's just on the day chilling not really too acclimated or like active but this morning i caught him inside of this rock like there's some holes on the inside like he dang near was stuck i about had to break it just to get him out but it looks pretty good let me pull this out i don't got time for that with him today there you go You guys comment down below what you think but it's day 125 i do gotta add some more potion in to his um quarantine tank to get his whiskers and stuff to grow back but you can kind of see they're growing back somewhere but just not too much but he's very energetic and ready to go back into his new idea but for the most part though if y'all take care of what y'all supposed to take care of with them videos and subscribers he'll take place in there but until then you won't know until you go but i'm starting to see some stuff though so i don't really know i'm gonna see if i can get them get them up and see if i can see Man, what's really going on You know, you gotta play with them and stuff. I can't wait to do my hand feedings again. I haven't hand fed him in a brick. But yeah, though, two goldfish still haven't been eaten yet. But I guarantee you, he's hungry. I know the baby brim are hungry but i think i'm gonna do that in a separate video because i don't really know what they eat other than worms and small little maybe maybe crickets i just thought of something i can go feed them crickets i forgot but the only why i don't buy crickets is just because my fish won't get full off a of cricket <laughs> but they'll taste it but they won't get full off a of cricket this guy he'll probably eat crickets all day but won't never get full off of them but yeah, this guy, I think I'm gonna kind of pull him up and we gonna kind of look at him for a little minute and see everything that's going on. I'm gonna put him in a little, put a little bit of water in the bowl. You don't need too much and you don't need a little bit. In between. He gonna try to fight me a little bit, but I got him though. I got him though. I got him though. I'm trying to get him out the net. He gotta be so complicated. So yeah, I'm gonna put him in here and I'm gonna show you guys. This guy looks amazing. But I was kind of concerned about that little dent right there beside his gills i was wondering what that was that's kind of why i wanted to pull him out and kind of show you guys but he's about six inches now so he's pretty big so you see how his fins are i mean his whiskers are burnt off but they're starting to grow back so it's a process but it's it's happening just slower than usual but you guys comment down below how big y'all think he is like inch wise because he's not like no more than eight inches but just comment just comment what you guys think take an honest guess but this guy with this water is kind of heavy so but yeah man i can't wait to grow this guy up to 365 so i'm just so glad i got to keep him i wanted the paku too but you know but i'm gonna get another paku though i think i'm a, i've been seeing some but i'm a i'm gonna go make a purchase on one but i made a purchase on a different type of fish so we're gonna definitely do daily vlogs with that fish so y'all just stay tuned probably tomorrow or sometime after that but yeah for the most part though i'm really finna just release him i mean release him back into his quarantine tank he looks pretty good 
I don't know anything about the sex yet, so I don't know how to tell. They say it's real hard to get catfish to spawn and stuff like that. So I really don't know. I have to do some research on that. But for the most part though, he's doing pretty good though. So I guess we're just gonna go ahead and release him back now. But the next time I'll probably try to pick him up, he won't be in this thing. He'll probably be in like a little bucket or something because he getting big fast. But comment down below what y'all think I should name this guy. Cause I mean, we already got Thump the Bass. I mean, somebody gave me that name. Then, you know, my other two fish got names, but I'll think of those in the comment section. But yeah, man, we just need to find a name because I'm gonna have like two to three more animals where well, fish come through and actually be a part of this family. So I just feel like we just need names so we could be able to spot them out you know, and know. But I'm gonna release this guy and then I'm gonna show you guys something else before I conclude my video. Bye-bye, little man. Look at him. There you go. Yep. So he's pretty good. I'm gonna just put his little house back up in there so he can relax. Because I know that's what he's looking for. But I gotta make sure all the water sink down in it. Because if not, it'll float and he'll crawl right up in it too. Literally crawl right up in it. But yeah, another thing I had wanted to show you guys was the baby broom tank. I gotta clean the sponge filter, but that's kind of why it's a little cloudy, but they actually doing pretty well to be like their second day, but I'm gonna make a separate video on these guys with feeding them and stuff, and I wanna see how they really react, but so far they're calm, but they can be spicy sometimes though, cause they're, they like, well catching them fishing wise, they, they like jig baits, so you know, things that just dance in the air, but it dance upwards. So they're like skimmers, but not skimmers. But yeah, I mean, everything doing good. The catfish, I mean, not catfish, the goldfish are doing pretty well too. They're getting along pretty nice. I don't think they met each other before, but have ever seen each other before. But yeah, for the most part, the reason I want to keep these guys is see if I can grow them out and see if they will actually spawn or will I have a breeding bunch with these guys. But I was gonna feed one to the pit bass, but I decided to feed the goldfish. But the next time, I'm just gonna order some and I'm gonna feed them because I really want to see where these guys want to go. But yeah, then I got another duty. Somebody's mad. Sorry. Sorry, forgot to feed you. Sorry, no, I didn't. She's just so spoiled. She watching. So aggressive, I tell y'all, I tell y'all, this is my little snapping turtle. It's my little alligator snapping turtle. But that should be enough colors for her. I ain't gonna overfeed her. But yeah, back to this guy. We at day 125. We should be at 200 subs by day 130, if I'm not mistaken. So that's like five days. I feel like we should be at 130 subscribers. Well, 200 subscribers on the dot. Probably quicker than that. We might be at 250 by then. Who knows? But we're on the road to 1K. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to tune in for tomorrow's vlog. I will definitely do a feeding video tomorrow for, for this guy. So definitely tune in for tomorrow's video because I feel like it's going to be epic. So make sure you guys turn on post notifications. Like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what was your favorite part.